polymerization is used to obtain a solid product from a solution. Unfortunately, when we do this once, sometimes we obtain impurities within the crystals. In order to avoid this, we do a recrystallization or another crystallization. So the first step to a recrystallization is determining the appropriate solvent. In order to do this, you just obtain a small amount of the crude product, which is the impure product, uh, and put equal amounts of it into the desired test tubes. Once you've done this, you can use the appropriate solvents and see which dissolves and which does not dissolve in the solvent. So for recrystallization, you want a solvent that can not fully dissolve it when it's cold, but instead fully dissolve it when it's at a hotter temperature. So once you have tested with a cold solvent, you determine which does not dissolve it and take those out. Once you have determined that the cold solvent does not dissolve the crude product, you can then place it in a hot water bath to make the solution hot. So once you have to determine that the crude product does dissolve in a hot solvent, you can measure out your desired product that you want to recrystallize, and then you want to put the minimal amount of hot solvent into it to dissolve it. If your solvent is too hot and you cannot get the appropriate amount from the pipette, use tongs to lift the beaker off the hot plate. Okay. Once you have a hot saturated solution, you then need to add the appropriate amount of activated carbon to decolor the solution. Once you get a nice clear solution, you want to hot filtrate the solution. So to do this, you get a nice big filter paper, and you're going to fold it into a funnel. So do this, fold it in half, and then fold it like a fan. So fold it one way, back the other way. Then if you open it up, place it into your glass funnel, and put that over the beaker. Now you can put your hot saturated solution through the filter paper. Now you can leave the solution to cool to room temperature and then further recrystallize using an ice bath. As you can see, we got crystals from our product just by leaving it at room temperature. Now we can put an ice bath in order to further crystallize it.